Hi there everybody. I am Prashant Kumar. So we are discussing about 10th standard social science. Already we discussed one part of the Indian natural disasters. In that we already discussed about uh, the meaning of natural disaster, cyclones and also the flood. And with that landslide also we discussed. So what are the causes for that? And what are the effects? and how can we prevent it all these things we discussed today let us discuss about the another two natural disasters like coastal erosion and also earthquake so about that let us just discuss so let us start that so coastal erosion is the first one and actually what is coastal erosion the name it says coastal erosion the coastal region the erosion takes place there is a coastal erosion process of wearing away and removal of materials along the coastline by wave action sea waves which hit to the seashore so by hitting continuously the wearing away and removal of materials along the coastal region is called coastal erosion yeah so what are the causes for this coastal erosion that one we have to see so main causes uh the southwest monsoon winds the southwest monsoon winds which cause intensive coastal erosion so actually the coastal erosion is more towards the western coast than the eastern coast because southwest monsoon winds hit to the western coastal region and here in gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka kerala and tamil nadu in these states along the western coastal region which affect by the coastal erosion Yeah, so southwest monsoon is the main cause then tropical cyclones tropical cyclones are common in the eastern coastal region yeah so most of the destruction during the north east monsoon season in the southwest monsoon season which hit to the western coastal region north east monsoon season at that time the tropical cyclones hit to the western coastal eastern coastal region yeah southwest western coastal Uh, north is eastern coastal so there in the bay of bengal which causes serious erosion along the east coast uh, including their tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha etc and another one tsunami and uh, here the tsunami is the large waves generated by earthquake inside the sea if it earthquake happens if we shake the vessel with the water what happens the water will overflow same thing here big waves will come because of the earthquake in the sea and because of big waves the sea uh, coastal region erosion common and especially we can see this one in andaman nicobar islands and eastern coastal region okay so these are the causes and the distribution of this uh, uh, coastal erosion yeah so with that human interference also helps in coastal erosion especially removal of sand construction of uh, breakwater are the main cause yeah so these are the main causes natural and man made causes for this coastal erosion next we have to discuss about the effects of coastal erosion especially because of coastal erosion trees and buildings of coastal area can be way, washed away full on the coastal region whatever may be the buildings or uh, houses uh, trees etc washed away and uh, merged into the sea and the roads railway lines the bridges etc along the coast can be damaged here you can see roads etc will damage here is the sea because of sea wave it will damage and coastal areas can remain flooded over a long period a uh, period of time required uh, settlement of people yeah so this coastal erosion so that area so for long period it will be affected and a long period of time is required for resettlement of the people there because that much damage it will create so there is the effect of this uh, uh, coastal erosion next we have to discuss about the how to prevent it can we prevent this yeah so it is possible but uh, completely not possible but we can reduce that construction of sea walls groins and breakwaters along the coastal region sea walls we can construct or groins groins is a 
a series of uh, groins or including huge uh, rock mass- masses or concrete logs which were uh, collected here you can see so by that what happens the sea waves which will hit to this one and erosion will be stopped is the main thing yeah uh, and uh, planting of trees to stabilize the breaches uh, stabilize the beaches and uh, coastal dunes their mangrove forest etc we can uh, grow in the co- delta regions and other uh, regions we can so these uh, roots of the trees they will hold the uh, soil tightly as a result erosion can be reduced yeah uh, and actually breakers so some breakers we can construct there is a barrier built into sea to check the impact of waves and protect the coastal region yeah breakers we can breakers are the barriers okay so these are the preventive measures we can take so this is about the coastal erosion next we have discussed about uh, another uh, uh, biggest uh, and violent uh, destruction that is earthquake <laughs> what is earthquake a violent vibration in the earth's crust outer cover it is called vibration there that is earthquake yeah Uh, it is the uh, worst natural hazards which often results in disaster one of the worst natural disasters which creates huge destruction what are the causes for that plate movement in the earth inside the earth the plate uh, movement is you know because of that it is possible volcanic eruption because of volcanic eruption from inside magma it is coming out inside it will be uh, pressure increase no it will come out at that time the gap happens there it is a uh, shaking and the faulting and folding of the land because of the pressure from uh, both the sides the land will fold himalaya actually uh, came up because of that fold mountains they are gondavan and angar land between that this pressure increased and in the book we see pressure the page will come up no like that land also came up and uh, uh landslides also results because of the landslide it earthquake will happen collapse of uh, underground cave or underground cave roofs so because of the caves inside uh, that will collapse as a result uh, above it will be shake and uh, uh, hydrostatic pressure of uh, man made water bodies like reservoirs because of uh, the dam water will be stored there because of that storing of water it is unnatural against the nature so their pressure increases because of that it will go everywhere and that because of the pressure the land will shake or somewhere inside the movement will take place as a result this shaking takes place it is earthquake okay what are the effects of this see the effects how much it is so here as you can see how much it will damage and here also roads everything it will damage yeah and cracking of ground surface see here damage and destruction of buildings rails railways uh, roads power lines tele- uh, telecom lines etc bridges dams factories all these will damage loss of human life and property it's a common i told everything is common effects for everything fire many times because of the shaking uh, fire may come up so the fire rain everything it comes many times together if it comes just imagine how difficult it is to control or manage landslides will be the result and also disturbance in the ground water level ground water level will be distribute disturbed it will go somewhere else blockage and uh, uh, division of river course the river course may be damaged or is blocked and course may be changed the river course may be changed changed in one way it is going because of the earthquake it will go in another way it will change its uh, uh, route this and the destruction of forest due to fire because of the earthquake fire will come and forest will damage completely will burn so this is the effect so just imagine how uh, serious it is and distribution where is it actually uh, three major areas are the earthquake zones in india they are the himalayan zone 
Indo Gangetic Zone and Peninsular Zone. Yeah. In the Himalayan zone, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, so they are the main reason. Basically, due to the plate tectonic, it is in Kamoli and Uttaranchal. Plate movement inside the earth, the plate movement is, you know, because of that in these areas, this earthquake t- takes place. Yeah, there it is a uh, high a zone of high intensity. Himachal Pradesh, etc. The Himalayan zone is a zone of high intensity. Yes, and uh, Indo Gangetic zone is, you know, that's the Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal. So these are having the zone of moderate intensity. Yeah, and uh, the peninsular zone, so Lakshadweep, Andaman, Nicobar, and uh, Ran of Kutch, they are the zone of minimum intensity. Yes. Only few earthquakes have been occurred in these zones, so it is a minimum intensity. Uh, and the first one high intensity and second one moderate in- intensity and the peninsula zone is the minimum intensity. Okay, so this is uh, distribution of uh, earthquake in India. Now, uh, precautionary measures, we can't stop it, but precautionary measures we can take. What are the precautionary measures? Avoid the human settlement in earthquake prone zones. In that area, we have to avoid human settlements. Otherwise, damage is definite. Follow earthquake resistant design for buildings. Modern technology it is there. In Japan, etc., earthquake common. They use lightweight materials uh, to construct the buildings. And uh, uh, they use many techniques. Uh, while shaking the house also, it will shake and it will not collapse such buildings. And we have to avoid a multi-storied building actually. Using high quality materials, avoiding high rising buildings, multi-storied buildings should be avoided, then damage can be reduced. And uh, district, uh, sorry, restrict over the over ground water mining because we take more and more water, their water will be, will become empty and uh, space will come, that will create earthquake, the vacuum area. And restrict urban growth in the hilly areas with high seismic vulnerability. Actually, in such areas, the hilly areas especially, if the buildings are constructed, landslide may be result and it will collapse. The life will be damaged. Avoid the construction of large dams and reservoirs because of the pressure of the water which stored there because of that earthquake will be the result. Stop deforestation and heavy quarrying activities. Actually, deforestation is the main cause for all the natural disasters. We have to stop that. Yeah. So, uh, here, mainly beside, besides the supposed disaster measures, after disaster, whatever the measures we are taking before that, uh, more than that, we have to take uh, precautionary measures that is important. And after that, what we have to do? Anyway, it will come. Then, relief, recovery and rehabilitation important one. After that, post-disaster, we have to take relief, recovery and rehabilitation. That one we have to take. That is not so easy. So, this is about uh, earthquake. So, friends, so we discussed about natural disasters. We know the cause for that. Main cause is human being. When we go against the nature, nature definitely will teach us. That definitely nature will give punishment. If a teacher gives punishment, you will go to the police. But if the nature gives punishment, you can't go anywhere directly to the heaven or hell. So, let us protect our nature. Let us go with the nature. We are also an animal. So, we have to live with this nature. We should not go against the nature. Let us protect the nature. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you very much. Let us Let me come with another video next please subscribe and hit the bell icon and get the next video thank you thank you very much